The special guest of honor, um, our host, Punuka, attorneys and solicitors, distinguished invited guests, guest speakers, ladies and gentlemen. I must commend our organizers today for putting together this annual lecture and focusing on that issue, which I think is most critical to Nigeria's economic development, which is around how we begin to finance significant, sustainable infrastructure for the Nigerian economy. When you think about Nigeria's infrastructure deficit, and you also recognize the fact that as a country, we will need to invest at the minimum 20 to 30 billion dollars a year over the next decade alone, and that Nigeria's budget for this year, which is our largest ever budget, is less than 20 billion dollars. You begin to understand the scale of the issue and the reason why the government alone cannot provide the resources to finance all of Nigeria's physical as well as social infrastructure needs. Public-private partnership therefore begins, I mean, becomes the only sustainable way in which you can finance all of our infrastructure requirements. And it's all about creating the right enabling environment that ensures that for every one dollar of the government's capital spent, or three dollars of the government's capital spent, we can leverage that and bring 25 to 50 to 75 dollars of other people's money and investment commitments to build all of our needs around power, transportation networks, gas distribution networks, as well as all of our other requirements around social infrastructure, whether it's around education or healthcare. Every time people talk about diversifying Nigeria's economy, when they fail to understand the centrality and the criticality of infrastructure, then they fail to understand what is required to truly diversify the economy. We cannot, as a nation, ever achieve all of our agricultural potential if we fail to build power and transportation networks. We may have all of the world's mineral resources underneath our soil. But if we fail again to build power and transportation networks, we cannot bring it from out of the ground, clean it, process it, and deliver it to ports and be able to extract the right value. There are lots of young, talented Nigerians who are developing a knowledge economy in this country and doing great things around technology. But all of their potential and the potential opportunity that that creates for this country in terms of generating foreign currency from other sources other than oil will only ever be realized again if we build power networks across the country. So if you were to ask me very simply, and these would be my final comments, that what are the three most important things Nigeria must do over the next decade? I will tell you very, very simply, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. And what is the most important thing to make those issues a reality? It's all about financing, and the solutions are not going to be found by the government alone. They are going to be found by public and private partnerships. But finally, what is the easiest way to drive an economy kicking and screaming out of recession? It's all about figuring out how you can finance 
infrastructure in a sustainable way and in a significant way that it catalyzes economic growth. And only then will Nigeria find its rightful place in the polity of nature.